This is all you are to a narcissist. This is all you're going to be to them. If you're not that already. And this is something that's never going to change. They will always see you in this way. And they will always use you for this purpose. You will only ever be an emotional trash can or dumpster to a narcissist. This person who they come to for their problems. This person who they tell their problems to. To where they will throw their unwelcome or harmful matters and situations onto you. And then walk away feeling better about themselves. Because many of you are empaths. You have the ability to perceive the mental and emotional state of other people. You're highly attuned to their feelings and emotions. You're highly sensitive. You feel more empathy than the average human, which is remarkable and profound. You have these amazing gifts. The problem is that you are sharing them with the wrong person. Someone who cannot fully recognize or appreciate them. Someone who will only seek to exploit them and use them for their own benefit. Without reciprocating anything back to you. So they don't see you as something valuable or special. Because you need to have something of value to fully recognize and appreciate something of value in another person. You need to be on the same frequency so that you're able to appreciate it. And initially, they may have led you to believe that they were. But time reveals the truth. It shows you who they actually are when they start taking you for granted. And they're treating you like an object, like a means to an end, because they can't find any fulfillment from dealing with you in a positive way. They lack empathy. So they cannot appreciate your empathic abilities. All they can do is use you as their emotional trash can and walk away. Because it's not going to do anything for them other than that. They have an inability to connect and share your feelings. They can't experience love or intimacy. So when you're dealing with them, all you'll get is this fantasy or simulation. And if you're validating the illusion, you're daydreaming. You're imagining some magnificent heroic character in their place. Because that's the only thing that keeps you there. If you saw them as they actually are, you would run far away. Because you would see that all they have to give is garbage. They're rubbish and waste. They're worthless and meaningless ideas. And it's not because they have this wonderful side to their personality that they're withholding from you. Although that is what they might want you to believe. It's because they genuinely lack character and personality. They're genuinely just a dull and uninteresting person who has nothing to give to you. Which is why they resort to their manipulation. It's why they skillfully manage and influence you to their advantage. Because that's all they can do. It doesn't go any deeper or any further than that. And you will know this by dealing with them. Because if you press them for something more meaningful or for further commitment, they just can't do it. They haven't got it to give to you. So instead they push back and they devalue you. They try to make you think that something is wrong with you. They humiliate you in public. They shame you for wanting those things. Because the reality is that they're missing these faculties and components. They lack empathy. 
they're unable to share and understand your feelings, which can be difficult for us to understand. Because we feel things on a very deep level. We can read a book or watch a movie and it will touch our soul to where we will feel like we're connected to the artist or author on an emotional and spiritual level. But narcissists don't get to experience that. Because they disowned that side of them a long time ago. It wasn't nurtured or encouraged by their parent or caregiver. So they became like robots or machines where they may resemble a human being and they may be able to replicate human movements and functions and perform particular tasks. But they're not really feeling it on a deep level or experiencing the pleasurable sensations that are meant to come along with it. They're not in tune. They're not able to experience what they strongly desire because their narcissism becomes like this hindrance or impediment. It's like this emotional handicap that prevents them from functioning socially. It's like the chained elephant syndrome, where at one point they may have wanted to experience those sensations and emotions, but then they shut off that side of them because it wasn't nurtured by their parent or caregiver. So they assumed that it wasn't necessary or relevant And then you come along and you wonder why they can't connect to you or why they can't feel anything. Why they just treat you like garbage when they could connect to you and feel so much more. And the reason why is because they can't. They can't let go of the pain and the shame. They can't let go of the resistance because they greatly fear rejection and abandonment. So they'd rather be on the other end of it. They'd rather be the one who shames you for your desires as though something is wrong with it. They would rather be the one who rejects you because they're too afraid to be on the receiving end of it. They can't be vulnerable and you can't guide them through it. You can't open them up to it. They're always going to be that way. They're always going to be an affectionate and robotic. And whenever you're intimate with them, it will feel like you're with a machine rather than an actual person because they can't connect to you on a deep emotional level. Everything they do is self-serving. It's just a means to an end. As long as they get what they want, they're happy as long as they get admiration and praise. As long as they feel like they've accomplished something. But you will always be left feeling like garbage. Like you don't mean anything to them. Because you really don't. As crazy as it sounds, they just see you as an object. Something that they can use and then throw away. Something that they can consume. And it may seem like they got one over on you, but they're never actually satisfied because they have these insatiable desires that can never be fulfilled. They desire something more. They want a connection. And if you look back, you will see that all they ever did was try to connect to you, but it was always with superficial things. Because that's as deep as it goes for them. And when they realize that they can't receive what they really want from you, they get mad. It makes them really angry. Because yes, they do want it. Which is why they end up hating you. There's actually a very fine line between love and hate. The opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. So yes, if you look back... You will see that they were constantly trying to connect to you, but they can't because they lack empathy. So they just end up hating you instead because they can't participate. They can't get the same fulfillment as you do, which is 
what makes them so hateful and envious. And it's why they end up becoming really jealous. If they eventually see you move on with someone else. Because they already know that the very thing they wanted, the very thing that they will never get to experience, is what you're finding fulfillment in with someone else. And someone else gets to experience that with you. And this is why they're so jealous. This is why they triangulate you with other people. To make you feel like it's you. It's why they isolate you. It's why they start smear campaigns and try to turn everyone against you. Because they already know that if you do move on and experience that with someone else, their false reality is going to crumble down on top of them like a house of cards. And then they'll be forced to accept that it is them. They're the ones who lack empathy. They're the ones who can't experience love or intimacy. So they're bad and they're wrong. And some of these narcissists may seem prideful and arrogant. They may seem like they've got a lot of things going on. They may seem like they're more successful than you will ever be. But then a lot of them turn to alcohol and drugs. A lot of them become very reckless. And the reason why is because deep down even they recognize that love and connection is more important. Even though at times it may not seem like it, but this is why they're always so miserable. Even though it may look like they have everything. It may look like they have the picture perfect home, husband, wife and children. That still isn't enough for them. And it will never be enough. Because they lack empathy and they lack self-love. They're connected to their ego rather than their soul. Because they're too terrified to let go of the resistance. Because if they did that, they might find that it's actually something they want. And they may see it as though they're lowering themselves. They're getting off their high horse. Which is the false self. And that's all they have. They never worked on anything else. So all they can do is hold on to the sense of their own superiority, which ultimately blocks and denies the very things they want and need. But because they don't love themselves, they can't love you. If they love themselves by default, they would have empathy. But they don't. Which is why you can't be yourself around them. You can't let your hair down because they can't be themselves. And it's always about their ego and their need to feel superior to you. So it's always a game, it's always a competition, rather than two people just being real and authentic. Which really only affects them in the end. Because if you manage to break free from the isolation and the chains of their smear campaign, you can move on and have that for real, while they will remain stuck. Because they can't be vulnerable. They can't be satisfied. And yet they have this arrogance and entitlement. Which never results in them feeling fulfilled. Because they're very insecure. And they have this desperate need to control you. Because they don't want you to experience the very thing they wanted to experience with you. And they don't want to see someone else having that with you. Because they know it's something they're never going to get to experience. And you know they'll never get to experience that. Because they're always trying to control you. And this is why they devalue you. This is why they have to bring you down. This is why they don't want you to be good for anyone else after they're gone. This is why they have to confuse and distract you. And it's why they have to make you look and feel bad. Especially in front of other people. Because they already know what you're going to do. They know you're going to move on and have something for real. And it's just going to shatter their entire existence. It's going to reveal to them that their entire life is a lie. 
Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.